guys, it's Graham with Tutorial Clarity, and uh, in this lesson, what we're going to be doing is installing jQuery, and animating our first element with jQuery. But that's basically it. Um, this is the starting point for any of you web developers interested in learning jQuery. So, um, that being said, let's go ahead and get down to business. I'm just going to say here, this is my HTML document, simple index.html, and all I have is the standard head, body, and proper HTML headings up here, meta content, blah, blah, blah. I suggest you should be using Dreamweaver, because if you are using Dreamweaver, it will automatically put these things in there for you. But all I have, basically all I've done, the main things to pay attention to, is my div down here, simple div id equals my div. And up here, I just have a style tag uh, with some basic styling so that you can clearly see the div box along with some text inside of it. But that is all that I've done. No jQuery is here. And uh, I'm just going to call this jQuery installation. <laughs> Control S to save that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get jQuery installed. If you go to the jQuery.com website, you go right up here to the first button and hit download. After you have download, you just scroll down here if you have to, you click download jQuery. And it should bring you down automatically to this element right here, 1.4.1, along with the release notes. Just go ahead and click that and it'll take you to this other part of their website. And this is where you download it. Down here it says downloading. Below you have the jQuery minified. That's basically just smaller. It's a smaller, uh, like a light version of jQuery and the jQuery full package, which is definitely what you want here. It's not much anyway. Very efficient coding. So go ahead and left-click that, download it, and it should bring you to this page. Depending upon your browser, it may download automatically. I don't know. But uh, if you go up here to File, Save Page As, and then I have a folder created specifically for these tutorials called jQuery, and it's on my desktop. I suggest you do the same. Just you know, makes things organized, whatever folder works for you, so long as you know where it is. But the important thing to know is that this file that you're saving has to be in the root directory. It doesn't have to be, but for the purposes of these tutorials, just go ahead and plop it in the root directory. So I have my folder on my desktop called jQuery, and I'm just going to save this as J, lowercase, and then capital Q, U, E, R, Y, jQuery. And it automatically saves it as .js. I hit save. And there you go. So I'm going to minimize now. Just minimizing, and then I'm going to go into my jQuery folder. Opened up in the wrong window. There it is. So I got my jQuery, and I have my index. This is my index page that I showed you at the beginning. So we are already ready to go. I mean, that is all you need for the single best JavaScript framework on the internet. That is all that you need. So, continuing right along, if you go down here, back into Dreamweaver, let's go ahead and make use of jQuery, our first little thing. So I have this div right here, and I want it to fade in. Simple fade in, nothing fancy. I'm just going to give you a little bit of terminology and show you how to link jQuery into your documents. So below the style tag, type left arrow script. These might be familiar. Type equals text slash JavaScript. And then space, src equals, and since we're in the root directory, all we have to do is type the same file name as we saved it as, jQuery.js. And that's it. It's already linked into our document. Now you have to do left arrow slash script. For some reason, my Dreamweaver isn't automatically closing my tags. Don't know why. Anyway, now we have to get it to fade in. So let's open up our actual main script here. Script type equals text slash JavaScript. And I'm going to bring this down a line just to add some spacing for you. Come down a couple of lines, slash script, and there you go. This is the area that we're going to be working within. So, the first thing that we need to do is actually declare something called the DOM ready event. Don't be scared by that. Um, DOM actually stands for Document Object Method. Yeah, so basically what you do here is you just type dollar sign, left parentheses, document, right parentheses, dot ready. This is that DOM ready event, left arrow function. I'm sorry, not left arrow, left parentheses, and then open and close parentheses, open bracket. And this is the very primitive structure of all jQuery. 
right here, this declaring method. It's actually similar for every single element, so I really recommend you use this first part, part right there. Learn that, memorize that, because I'm going to reiterate it a lot. <laughs> but uh, if you go in here, now the next one is dollar sign, left parentheses, window.load. This is our window.load function. And I'm going to explain here in a second what they actually do. All right. So now that we have these in place, equally spaced for you, what this does is it actually says, okay, the page is being loaded and the objects specifically for JavaScript are ready to go. So in here, in this section, you could declare your functions ahead of time. Now using jQuery with this window.load function, what this does, basically the window.load function is it says all the images, all the tables, all the HTML content, all the CSS files have been downloaded. That means that the window is already loaded. So all your JavaScript is going to be going basically in the window.load function or else you're going to get some flickering problems. But if you need to hide an element beforehand, such as our div, then you can do it up here. This is going to be where you're actually uh, <clears throat> hiding your elements beforehand. You don't want to hide your elements after everything has loaded or once it loads you're going to get that flicker off. So it's important that you do that in here. Now remember here we have my div id equals my div. So that's our div element and we need it to hide before the document even loads. So we're going to do the same calling function like I said I'm going to be reiterating it. You do the dollar sign left parentheses except this time we're going to use the quotation marks and then the number sign to specify that we're targeting a ID of an element not any element in specific but it's going to go at, jQuery is going to be targeted to any element that has the ID of my div which just happens to be a div so we're going to say my div dot hide and then we're done that's it it won't flicker on it's just not going to appear so now if I go up here preview in Firefox there it is a blank page because it's hidden. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, so now we wanted to get a fade in. I mean, this is the most primitive <laughs> uh, effect that they have, but we're going to get it to fade in. So, same thing, we're going to be calling it up. jQuery has to know what it's targeting. So we got that number sign, my div, and then dot fade in at a speed of slow. And I'm going to go over all of this stuff in much greater detail. This tutorial in specific was just on how to get uh, jQuery downloaded, installed, and our first functions up and running. But uh, hit Control S to save my document. Now I should go back in Firefox. And there you go. Now my div is here and it faded in. I'll refresh the page a couple of times so you can see what I'm talking about. Very basic animation. But you can see how simple it was to get jQuery downloaded, installed, and inserted into our document. So, with that being said, guys, this is a very basic, very primitive introduction to jQuery. Now that we have it installed, you should be ready to go with your folder for the rest of our tutorials. Um, we're going to be getting into animating, more in-depth into fading, uh, hover events, trigger events, perhaps even some PHP, Ajax events, uh, data calls, all those good, fancy things. But uh, as always, guys, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Take care.